Wait. my protein drink. This is B- right, Beats. We started. We started. I saw it. <laughs> hello. Hello. You know? Hello. Heineken is the worst beer you should be drinking. Drink. She was explaining her protein drink to the. That's, that reminds me. To Stan. What, yeah, my protein, protein drink. drink. What's in the drink? This is um, made by one of my friends. This is beet. This is um, pomegranate, carrots, mango, and pineapple. It's like, it's a juice. You know, I'm trying to get my body back. Way to go. Way to go. <laughs> Very healthy. Where did this it go? Is, uh, you didn't get to the question. This what? Is, uh, this is uh, Heineken. <laughs> Heineken is the worst beer you should be drinking. You should be drinking anything else but Heineken. Dutch, I could drink Heineken. What are you Why? It's it tastes like piss. What are you talking about? Heineken How do you know delicious. what piss tastes like? You drink your own piss. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. That's a good point. I don't know. That's what I've always heard is that it tastes like piss. I don't know what piss tastes like, but people say that all the time. Heineken is delicious. What are you talking about? Heineken is fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'll drink Heineken. I mean, well. I'm Jamaican, so Heineken is always in the coolers, but yeah, right. it's not a good beer. Yes, yes, it is. Well, we're back after. No, a long what you hiatus. have right there, Stan, a Modelo is the beer. That's the beer to drink. That's a Mexican I like beer. beer. It's good. It's good stuff. Should I turn my camera we're back after more a this long way? hiatus? Should I shut up? Oh, wow. How how has last guys been what? since since the last episode? The last episode I even looked was April 7th of 2020. Oh. What was the last movie we reviewed? We, we did the Oscars. Yeah, we oh, did the Oscars and we did it with like a whole bunch of people. Oh no, we did the movie party thing. We did yeah. a lot. Yeah. We did like a lot. That was the, that was the, what was that? That was on, what was that app? On House Party? Uh, no, house, house Party. Yeah, House Party. Yeah, yeah. House party. yeah you, which you clearly don't even use now. House Party became yeah, now Zoom the Clubhouse. Is, Zoom, is, Zoom is way better. House Party has now become... House Party lasted like a week. Yeah, it's become the Clubhouse now. I think that's probably where they got it from. Clubhouse is not the same thing. No, I'm saying that's probably where they got it from now. No. No? No. All right, anyway. <laughs> Hi, guys. I oh. know you missed me. It's been a pleasure. You know, I've I've missed everyone. A pleasure to do what? What do you want? Like? She's so I don't know. It just her. sounded really good to say. What movies have y'all been watching? Besides the one we're about to review. Um, I haven't I haven't really been watching any movies. I've been watching a lot of series. Not a show. See anymore. exactly. Same right. here. Because it's, it's, really, because it's, like, it's like, just there's, so there's much nothing, stuff. There's not. There's nothing that really interests me. To be honest with you. No I did see Tenet. I did see Tenet. How you like Tenet? I didn't. You didn't like Tenet? Not really. Like I did, but I didn't. Like I like the first like once I realized what was going on, and I once I figured it out, I was like, oh, okay. "What'd you figure out? You didn't figure it out, huh? You didn't figure it out. What are you talking about? I'm not you gonna. You want, you want you want to spoil? You figured it? it all out. I watched it like eight times. Yeah. How many times you watch it? Like three oh, okay i need to fix my calendar I, like, I, I, I bought it i bought it on i bought it on amazon or whatever okay and i was like i bought it too i bought it on apple <coughs> and i, I like, didn't I get a chance it, so to like, buy that you guys literally just discussed that with me yesterday you should you should buy it it's good it means okay look here's the thing oh it's now good. it's good now it's no, good no, no. here's the thing when i the first time i saw it i hated it the second time i saw it you I hated it? it yeah the first well, time i didn't doing see it yet so i wouldn't know I was just watching it. I wasn't doing anything. I was paying attention. And I was like, this this movie, it, it pissed me off. I was like, this is fucking stupid. Nah, like, because, no, no, no. I was amazed. His, his, no, no, no. This, because this is what Chris Nolan does. He's like, ah, I'm going to outsmart everybody and be. I had to pause Fuck it. You. First time I Fuck, watched it, I said, wait, hold Fuck on. Chris wait. Nolan. I had to pause Fuck it. Fuck Christopher Nolan. Okay. No, man. No. Christopher Nolan's a fucking no. asshole. He's out here. Oh, I'm smarter than everybody. I can. Fuck I don't think you. he thinks that. I, I 100% think he thinks he, he thinks that because not like I went back and I started I started watching old Christopher Nolan movies and I'm like, like this what? guy is like what like the Prestige, uh, okay. fucking 
um, what was the other one? You ever seen Memento? Fucking asshole. Memento, Memento. was great. I, I think I remember Memento. It's been Fucking a asshole. while. Since I went I've back and watched. Good. I went back and watched a few, <laughs> a few of his like, <laughs> a few, like what was the other one? Um, not Inception. He did a rival, right? Not a rival. Yeah, he did a rival. He did a rival too. Didn't he? I love a rival. No, was it a rival? He did a rival. That's on my. I feel like he did. I feel like he did. I can't remember, but I don't, I don't know. think there he was, did a rival. I don't think he did a rival. There was some. No, 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 not not a rival. What was the other one? The one with the um. Fuck. Was it? Tom you guys are talking there? foreign to me because I didn't get to watch the tenant. You guys literally just discussed the tenant with Who? me yesterday, so I didn't okay. get. We're not talking to watch about tenant. It. We're just talking about Christopher Nolan, the director. Hold on, Chanel. Yeah. I need you. It's tenant. Where did you get the tenant from? There, because I Where saw you the the from. I think it was because Faisco said, did you guys see The Tenant? And I thought... He did not. I I would not disrespect (laughs) the movie that way. (laughs) He He literally wrote, did you guys see Tenant? I thought he said The Tenant. She just put the the. I don't know where it came from. (laughs) But then I started Googling and I was like, there's like three different types of movie called So wait, so wait. only one that matters. So hold on, hold on, hold on. There's like a 1976... All last year, when they're talking about movies that are being delayed and movies that aren't coming out, Tenet did not make, get, your get on, make, make, make your radar at all. No. What? That's because I was, but Stan, I've been very busy. I, first I, of all. Okay, all right. I, hold on. There's, there's no, no excuse. There's no, there's no excuse. There's no, hold there's on, no hold on. to be so busy that you wouldn't have seen posters everywhere of the, the new Christopher Nolan movie with Denzel I swear, Washington's kid. Who, by I the way, swear, is a poor I, black kid. I didn't see it. I, no, I, he's I, not I saw, terrible, Stan. Stop it. I saw other polls for like the Eddie Another Murphy. Black Remember black. the Eddie Murphy comedy, Do, uh, Dynamite, Dolomite? That was that was two that was, years that ago. Was while, that was a while back. That was two um, years ago, was literally. It two years no, it was like last year. Like it was like the beginning Dolomite of last year. It was the year before last year. <laughs> Okay, like the so end, the end I'm of talking like, about flyer wise is before COVID, like the ads that I was seeing yeah. before COVID. Yeah, Tenet, Tenet never popped like, up. Ten- what? what? Tenet never popped up. All right, you, you don't know it. She she doesn't know. I it don't is. know it. I'm not afraid to say I, I don't think, know it. I'm just saying I don't. They, they, I didn't they, see it. They, they, they were trying to bring the movies back with that movie. Okay, well. I'm going to watch it because you literally just dropped it on me yesterday. Yeah, you gotta you gotta really pay attention when you watch it though. No, you gotta pay attention. I'm I'm gonna pay attention. Cause like it's it, it's yeah. It, it's well he fucking... said it's better than Inception and I like Inception. To me. Mm. You know what? Well I'm he not gonna say hated it. Else. I said that the first time I saw it. But is it similar to like Inception where it's yeah. the about the creative yeah. minds and the thinkers and stuff no. like that? No. No. All right, well then. No, it's about a rich fuck. <laughs> it's about a rich fuck who wants to fucking fuck the whole world up. If he, if he dies, the whole world gets fucked up. Oh, that. all right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's pretty much what it's about. Yeah, that's what it's about. Okay, I'm gonna watch it, guys. But you know what? Fuck I just I you know I just don't I just don't like I don't I don't like I don't like when Christopher Nolan tries to outsmart everybody. Nah, bro. Just he make a good, good. movie. What he the fuck was that though. movie? What was that movie? And then like Matt Damon was ended up being in it. It was like, but he wasn't credited. Oh, fuck. that wasn't a. That was. That wasn't, wasn't a rival. That was, something that was the other space movie. Inception. Uh, Interstellar. No, no, Interstellar. 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 Yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah. Interstellar. Yeah, I love that movie too. I love that movie. Yeah, it's fine. I just Christopher Nolan does the same. Like he just. That's ooh, better look, than I'm Tenet, though. That's better. That's better than Tenet. Interstellar, I like better than Tenet. There was a see, but watching Interstellar and watching Inception made me think that something else was gonna happen. In, like, because I don't want to spoil it for Chanel, but it made me think something else was you going can on. Say it, and she still won't get it. Well, but I thought, how would I thought, you know I thought, that? I thought, like, I thought why essentially, you always was, do that. Well, no, because it's very confusing. Like, if you, like me, once for me, you to watch the movie, you have mean... to watch the movie to understand. We, I can tell okay, you something. So you don't oh, think Chanel. I watch? The I can movie. tell you something that happens in the movie for a reason. Chanel, but it's, I can it's, tell it's you not... something that happens in the movie, and you still won't understand 
until it happens in the movie. And then even when it happens yeah. in the movie, you probably still won't understand. Which is why you got to watch it like twice. You Which is why you got to like watch it times. again. Okay. You know what fucked me I, up? I went, I went going in blue, thinking- The red blue shit fucked me up. Yeah, 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 yeah. The red oh, it's blue like, shit Why does it sound like the over. Matrix? In a way, it's, it's in not, a way, yeah. it kind of is in a little bit, but not really. Okay. Like what the what you know what because what, what, I went because I went in thinking that it was it was sort of a not a sequel to Inception, but the, like there were a lot of things that you could a prequel you can prequel you can you can make the case that they're but connected, not, but they're not. It's not. It's not at all. I mean, I, when I looked it up, the first thing I thought about when I saw the the picture of the the movie. I said, this looks like an exception thing. That was well, the first thing I came to mind. And the, I asked the, you guys. The, 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 the poster for Tenet yeah. was specifically made that way because Christopher Nolan did both movies. He specifically made it that way. Okay. To it's give still it, give mind it an, an, Like both movies. Mind it's, yeah, they're a mind fuck, yeah. Both movies. Okay. Yeah, because Inception, I had to watch like two times to really grasp everything. Nah, I watched that shit like eight times, I, bro. I remember Inception, I watched, scene, I watched a few times. You know I do bullet, love Inception, you know though. Scene. That is one of my favorite yeah, movies to watch. Scene, right? Which bullet scene? The first one. The first time... He, in the in the theater or whatever? No, 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 no. no. Not that. Yeah. When, the, he's, when, he's, when he's with the lady. When he's with the scientist lady. And she's oh, okay, explaining yeah, yeah, yeah. it to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. He done that shit a million times, probably. You understand Probably, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. How could he pick up the bullet if he didn't? He had to put it there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Yes. No, you don't, Shanae. <laughs> you don't. You don't, Shanae. <laughs> yeah. Why you do you drop? The, yeah. That's that's, that's what kept you know fucking. What? I had to rewind. I, I will like, exit what? out this show because you swear like I'm like some right. blonde. Just no, no, no. Look, here's the thing. After Chanel watches uh, watches Tenet like three times, we'll yeah. have to do this over again so that I wouldn't. We can, I, we well, can I don't mind doing it because you guys only gave bits and pieces. If we thoroughly do a show on the one, Tenet, I honestly don't I mean, think I, I. I honestly don't know if like I could sit here and do an entire. Because you didn't like it. No, it's not that I didn't, didn't like, like it. it. Tenet? I said it's just it's just there's so many. It's so many different. Par- it will take five it's, hours. Yeah, it would. It's like a it's, lot. it's it's a, a lot, lot happening. Okay. It's it's not conf- it's not once you watch it a few times it's not as confusing. But the first time it's like what the fuck did I do? That was that's how that's that's why the first time I watched it I was like I I was pissed off because I was like what the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> yeah. And then like the last the last twenty minutes I was like okay all right I think I understand something and then I watched it again and I was like all right. What you watched it but, straight through? You didn't stop? You didn't? The first time? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the first time yeah. I watched it straight through. See, I didn't, I didn't do that. I, I stopped like, it. Because I, I, didn't, I didn't watch it alone. I had so to I stop. I like, like the scene where- Oh, he, you didn't watch it alone, Stan. Nah, like yeah, the scene where, like cousin. the scene where he was like fucking, like the girl was behind the glass and they were interrogating like through time. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I had yeah, to yeah. stop and rewind to kind of like get my mind on what was really happening. Right. Cause that because that was the first like time the red times. blue shit came into play and I was right. like, what See, the that's the fuck thing. Like, is going on? After I, I think after Chanel watches it and we can really get into it because even that scene kind of still I'm not totally sure what I saw. I okay. understood what I saw, but it still kind of fucks me up. Like I'm still yeah. kind of confused. Right, right, right. Um, All right, so I will watch it and then we yeah. can talk about it. Because, because, like, like I said, and like, we won't I, I was, do was, a whole stance and then seven. No, no, we'll just like bring it. it up every now and. then. No, we'll do it. We'll do a, a, a take Cause, on it. Because that's what I that's what that's what that's what I, that's why I ended up watching other Chris. Because I was like, all right, am I just mad at this movie or I'm mad at Christopher Nolan in general? So I went back mm-hmm. and I watched Memento, and I was like, okay, well, Memento. What, like once you understand, it's like once you understand what he's doing, it's like okay, I I get it, and Memento is good. And then the Prestige, it's like it's less so less of a mindfuck, but then you once you once you see uh uh. The prestige once you can you get it mm-hmm. the the way he starts fucking with people's heads is is inception and, and interstellar. interstellar yeah but interstellar is not a really a mindfuck it's, it's really it's really no yeah it's not it's not it's good though the time uh, though the like the time thing in interstellar is kind of crazy yeah but it's understandable the all prestige, right i'm gonna watch it Nolan movie. okay so we'll watch it can the we prestige? move forward yeah, we can move forward. What else? What did you see? 
So besides those whack ass Netflix movies. I've been watching, I told you what I've been doing. I've been watching nothing but series and documentaries as well. I finished Queen's Gambit. I finished Tiger. I just finished huh? watching Tiger Woods documentary. The Tiger yeah. Woods documentary. I, I actually did not pretty see good. that. It's pretty is good. Is it good? It is pretty good. I, I was debating on watching I finished, mind, mistresses I, on there and everything. Was, I finished good. The Ripper. That was really good. Somebody the Ripper. Did you see the, what the, fuck you the Night Stalker? No, so you know Jack the see, Ripper. Did y'all see uh <laughs> did y'all see not my Missy? Wait a second, no. hold on. Let me finish because that's one thing from even previous is that y'all talk over me. So okay, all right, all right. what's all right, the ripper? Gosh. What's the ripper? What's the ripper? Yeah, what's, the what's ripper is movie? similar to uh Jack the Ripper. This guy reenacted the same kind of way that Jack the Ripper would murder women and majority of the women were prostitutes and this man had he had went on a, a murder spree. This is it a and documentary or a movie? Yeah, it's a documentary. It's called The Ripper. It's really, really mm-hmm. good. You know, I like documentaries and shit like that. So um that was like the latest, latest thing I finished. Queen's Gambit it's a and movie or, or it's episodes? It's episodes. It's a series. Oh, I'm good on that. Yeah. How many episodes is it? Um like ten. Yeah. Mm. An hour? Or an hour yeah. each? Yeah, about an hour. Man. That's a lot. That's a lot for like But it's so much life. details. It's like you, you just keep murder. going. It's like making a murderer. Making a murderer was making good. Making a murderer was good though. Uh, the first six episodes. There's a lot. There's a lot of details they could have left out. After but that, the, it was like, all the, right. Did I'm you? Sorry. Well, did you guys it's watch? Uh, did you guys watch Nexium? What's that? No, what's Nexium? It's an. It's an. H, it's a documentary series on HBO about this this guy that pretty much starts this cult. It's. Oh, it's, I saw. I started, but it got boring. I was like, I can't watch it. <laughs> it was like, I, well, so obviously, people, people kept telling people kept telling me to watch it, and I'm like, I just, I was like, fuck it, let me just, let me just, I, I, I finished it quick, and. Literally, like the day after I finished it, they because the guy got yeah. arrested. The day after I finished it, the they, guy they, got arrested. Yeah, like the main the main dude or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um. So the day after I finished the like the day after I finished the documentary, he get uh, he got sentenced. So because the documentary the documentary ends yeah with a part two. It's supposed oh to be a part God. two coming out in February. I think. So it's based on a true story. It's a movie or it's a show. It's a it's a documentary series. Oh, but they only did two parts. No, it was like eight episodes, but they oh, split right. it because okay. I guess it, it it was literally something that was happening in like the last like few years. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It was insane. Like you was getting like women to like brand themselves and shit. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. It was crazy. I, I saw that. I saw that on uh there's a Law and Order episode about that. Oh really? I like Law and Order. Yeah. There's a Law and Law Order. Law and Order is my about, shit. Like some fake call and he was branding women and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was wild. Yeah. I All right, so let's get into the movie that we are I mean, supposed to review. Like we haven't been I watched, quarantine. I watched a documentary last night because there's so uh, much stuff. We haven't there's talked so about stuff. Tiger King. We haven't talked about anything. Oh, <laughs> Tiger King. Yeah, Carol. <laughs> I, I I watched a I watched a documentary last night called Crack. You watch crack? Yo, yeah. okay, so people, I, I definitely have to watch that because a lot of my friends actually- Crack is good. It's, uh, it's, of course, it's, of it's course- everything I already that, knew, though. Like, I, I already knew all this shit. No, like, yeah, yeah, but it's still good. Everything I know about it. What, 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 what was, what was what different about it? What makes it good? It? Like, every, you know what, what, everything, what makes it good? Well, what, 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 what I thought was different about it, because a lot of documents, yeah, a lot of, most of the, most of it was stuff that we all know and we all kind of, a lot of us, we, I mean- we pretty much lived through. You could. That's, um, a, that's you a movie you got to show to kids. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. But like, I think what I like, what I like the most about it is that it took from different kind of kind of perspectives. Because, um, yeah, a lot of people know that um, the CIA was. I like the addicts. The, I like that they focused on the addicts. That's thing. what I like. Yeah. The, Other than the, that, the, like the, the, the it didn't the give me nothing else unique. The the fact that they were the dealers and the and the users were part of it, I think was cool. was good because you never really see documentaries with their perspectives in them. Mm-hmm. I thought the that users, was cool. the dealers, Freeway Ricky Raw has been telling this story. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's yeah, he, yeah, but no, like so someone, some, even the some dealers, of the I was like, whatever the dealers, but the users was like, oh shit, yeah, yeah. When they went through the crack baby shit, I was like, all right, dad, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Because it's funny, like not funny, but uh, like I. 
I, you know, um, I used to do a bit on stage about how, you know, my mom came here in 81 and one of her first jobs was working at Studio 54 and she was, she was oh my God, offered. Really? Yeah, she was offered cocaine all the time. And my mom used to tell me these stories. And my mom's not, she's not Wait, a curious your mom, person. Your mom used to work there as like, what, a waitress? No, she um she was like a bathroom attendant. Oh my god! So she didn't seen so many she probably celebrities shit. running in and out of that. She's seen she, the most. She so she's she seen everything. She's seen everything. Whoa! <laughs> she she's seen me, everything that she, she needs that, uh, to see. So when she came, um, it was her cousin that worked there first, and her uh, she my mom didn't my mom didn't really know. So she was like, they offered her like the, the schedule they gave her. She worked, she said she worked Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, and Wednesday night. And then her cousin worked Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So her cousin wow. ended up making more money because, you know, whatever. It's the weekend and a lot of right. them, yeah. But, but her, cousin, her cousin was also like more of a partier. So she would like leave the bathroom and go party or whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but my, so my mom used to tell me she, she would like get like autographs from people that she didn't really know. Like she knew who certain people were and like they would tell her when she got in, they'd be like, oh, so-and-so is coming tonight. So, you know, just just so you know, blah, blah, blah. Be prepared. So, yeah. So she would like, she told me that like, she, my mom was, I was a little hustler, man. She she told me she it. would, uh, she'd like keep like a dish with, with the tips or whatever. And like these two drunk girls came in and she had like a couple singles and some change. And uh one of them one of the girls was m drunker than the other and my mom yelled at her and accused her of stealing when she really wasn't and then the <laughs> friend was so afraid that she was gonna call and my mom was gonna call security that they both tipped her 20 dollars. it was hilarious that's hilarious. oh my god that's a good so like so my mom you know she used to tell me i used to do a bit about you know how my mom used to work before and all that but my mom, she's not a curious person because like if she, my mom was this much curious this much curious and like 1981 82 she would have tried cocaine and she would have loved it. Then she wouldn't. Have, she would have ended up doing crack because she couldn't afford cocaine. And I would have born, been born with like a foot on my forehead. You would have been shit. a crack baby. Like, that's that, all. That was, it, that was a. If you watched, you would have been a crack baby. You've seen you that it was a myth. That's a myth. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they made it seem much worse than it really was. And the funny thing is, I remember. I remember people talking about I'm, yeah. I remember that. I being remember yeah. motherfuckers calling people crack. Yeah, babies. crack babies. I used to hear that and, all the time. But it's a it's that a should, fake term. It's fake. It's not yeah. a real term. Like it it happened, but not as much as they made it seem. No. Like the term, of course, came probably because like, if your mother and father were both no Chanel, no, 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 white no, no, no. people was you gotta, on TV. You gotta watch it. Like watch these it. babies are born with cocaine they in said, them. And they're they, lying. They, they made, straight up lying. They made, know all about they that. made it seem like I'm, they the were like sixty percent. The they were like sixty percent of children are are going to be born addicted to crack. When it was really like two yes. percent. They were bugging. White people were yeah. bugging. White people were like, bugging out. Like we talk, people talk about how the media affects things nowadays. That shit's always been like that, man. It's always been like that. That's one the one thing I take away from from uh, from this documentary is like the media really. If they want to, they forever. will they will fuck with you forever. Forever. Well, I'm in it to know it. They yeah, pick man. and choose what are we, needs are we to be. Review this movie now? I would hold love on, to get we, started, we, but wait, you wait, just wait, kept on, going and okay. I tried to throw the introduction they, what, in there and you just nah, overthrew we, me. Like the we capital. Saying, like what are the what are the <laughs> what are the what are the stuff what are the shows and movies that we that we didn't talk about while we were gone? Like, no, because if we yeah, that well, he we don't do shows, we morely do movies, but there weren't. There, that's what I'm saying. There, like there, there weren't a lot of movies that that, that there was. It was just. There like, was oh, movies, uh, man. I mean, I didn't really there was watch a lot, lot of movies, movies, but I didn't get a chance to watch let a lot of movies because let me pull up some. I've man, I've been busy. I'm trying to think. And... Did you guys watch um? Did you guys watch uh? What was that Netflix one with uh, Mark Wahlberg, and Baku from Black Panther, Spencer something? No, did you guys watch that? See, no, see, I didn't. I don't even. I'm not out of the loop when it comes to movies because I've been literally. Did y'all see the high note? I, no, I heard about it. Never watched Did you it. You see yet. an American pickle? I I saved it to watch it. I never did. I never got. Never, never watched got it. it. It's no, that's, good. that's a good. One. What is that about? Oh, you, know what I, you know what I? Did uh, you see witches? No. Damn, and then the what the fuck? The Did you see Charm City Kings? 
I there's again, a, that was there's the a classic movie time? called Witches, the older version of Witches. No, 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 it's the same like about. the older version than I. This is like a road. This is based on a book. This is based this on a is, book. This is, um, this is this is a good movie. It's good. I'm naming uh, a good movie right now. American the an American Pickle is the one with uh, Seth Rogen, right? Yes. Yeah, I I, I meant to watch. I never did. Um, I did watch. Um, what's that one? Whoa. The Invisible Man or whatever. Invisible Man. Yeah, with uh, um, Elizabeth Moss. The scary movie, the fake scary movie. Yeah. Hollow Man. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's very similar Hollow to Hollow Man. Man. It's, it's called Hollow Man, though. No, it's called The Invisible Man. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's Hollow it's, Man is a different movie. Yeah, I know. Hollow Man was the one with uh, Kevin Hollow Man's Bacon. Hollow Man with Kevin Bacon. Yeah. How, like, how, Hollow Man's much better than The Invisible Man. I, I like Hollow Man. Man. Like Did you watch... Uh, did you watch uh, Wonder Woman? Yeah, it was wet. Yes. Okay, so that was the last movie I saw, actually. Terrible. Boom, that was right trash. there. That was trash. That was straight trash. Terrible. It was horrible. I it was, was so bad. disappointed. It was real bad. No, it was... I was disappointed. You know, oh, I watched it with you know my family. It was pretty good. This, this shit, The Midnight Sky, I think it's called. What was that? Mm. No, it's one. Of, it's a new movie with uh, George Clooney. Okay. He's like stuck, he's like stuck oh, that's on Netflix where he's in, like, he's in outer Netflix. space. And he's not in outer space. Everybody left to go find a, a new planet to live. Yeah. He's still, he's still I, well, Earth. it's somewhat like a space thing. I, I started to watch it and I didn't get to finish oh, it. Oh, did Thank you see you Project Power? No. Yes. Yes. Nah. I didn't hate it. I didn't I liked it. I, I didn't like it too much. I didn't hate it. I didn't really like the ending. I got a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> you know what's a good movie? Tax Collector. Did you see Tax Collector? Was it good? I heard it was, I, like, I kept, I, 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 I like, movie. I kept. I love I, that I, movie. I do. All right. It was really good. One with uh, Shia LaBeouf, right? It was Shia LaBeouf, yeah. I love liked him. It. I really liked it. I'm not going to lie to you. I like okay. that movie. I meant to Are we ready that, now? I, I, I read like negative things about it. So Wait, I, I'm I, going through, I'm going through movies. What right was, now. there was something else that I saw. <laughs> and I can't remember. This like, is why people want to turn off because we're supposed see, to go straight see, to what we're supposed to did do. Did you see Extraction? Yes. Extraction was good. Extraction was all right. Did you see Extraction, Shana? No. With uh, with Thor? Thor? With Liam Hemsworth? Chris. No, I don't think so. Yo, did you see uh, Antebellum? I saw uh, bit. No. Antebellum is kind of bugged out. Antebellum. The doll? No, that's Annabelle. That's Antebellum Annabelle. with Janelle Monet. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't see that. Oh, was that good? She, that shit is, she's supposed right. to be like an evil person or something. No, right? she's not evil at all. She it's, it's a whole I don't want to give it away. So just like a okay. It. I don't want to give it away. I saw this other it? movie. Actually, I did see a movie before Wonder Woman with my mother. Mm-hmm. And it was the movie with a uh, ghost from from power. And uh, you Adele saw, you saw, you saw the, the, Trump, doll, the Trump shit, the doll movie where they oh. used him as voodoo with what's his name from Power. That was actually all right. What? I didn't see that. What movie is that? It's this movie that he's in from Power. Uh, what's his name? Um, Omari, Omari something. Omari Hardwick. Omari Hardwick. What did he do? And, uh, voodoo movie. It's called um. Voodoo movie. Spell. I watched the movie Spell. I don't know what, what, is, what is that on. What is that? That on? came out actually last year at the at, in October. So that movie is about uh, him being kidnapped. Hey, he loses his family and stuff, and they he meets these people who do witchcraft voodoo, and mm-hmm. they don't want him to leave. And as he tries to attempt to leave every time, they have this doll and they do things to him, mm. and. It's really good. It's really good. You'd be surprised. Don't knock it till you watch it. What did you wait? What did you watch it on? Yeah. It's on um, I think it's on Netflix. Okay. Um, or was on Netflix. Yeah, I'm good on that. But you can find was, it like on Amazon. I was, I was, oh, it's I on was, Amazon um, Prime. Amazon Prime. You can watch it on Amazon Prime oh, and you can watch you it see, on YouTube. Did you see Coffee and Kareem? No. No. You didn't see coffee and cream. I remember. I remember you suggested it, and I was like, "Nah." Oh my God. Did you see uh, Irresistible? What's that now? Not it's everybody Steve saw Corral. these movies. Space Ghost. Like it's we've Steve been Corral busy. And he's running for office in his little town. No, I didn't see it. Oh man, you niggas, man. 
We don't. Know, <laughs> what uh? What was? How was Trump City Kings? Was it good? I mean, Baltimore people from Baltimore said <laughs> it's not real <laughs> to Baltimore people, but okay. I thought it was okay. I thought it was okay. All right. You know, the lighting looks really nice when you space ghost. Would you see Bad Boys for Life? I like you know, how I you just literally that. did not say thank you. Stand your camera. He's so rude. I still haven't seen Bad Boys for Life. I don't even know where to find it. I remember I went I'm on a stars, date man. to go see Bad Boys for Life, and I was I so it. mad. I bought, I bought the Bad Boys collection, so I have it. But I had tickets to go um, see Bad Boys for Life. And I was so you... mad. I went right here in Harlem to the movie theater and I had free tickets to go see. I was actually on a date. And There's I was so much information that is unnecessary to the story. You no, like, because like I actually talent? had tickets to go see that movie and never got to see. I never even wanted to see it no more because I was already aggravated that I couldn't get in. Why you Why couldn't, couldn't you get, get in? in? Because they were over capacity. Because mm, of COVID? Oh. No, this is before COVID. So I had like friends of friends that sent me like passes and I guess they had Why didn't so many put passes in theater? because it was at the Magic Johnson theater the that's premiere? where it was well located. there's your answer it was the premiere <laughs> no Magic it was the Johnson premiere. Has, they fixed it up it's, it looks better it looks so much nicer it does it looks it looks better yeah, we still, it looks so much still nicer and I was up it's upstairs right, on like the third it's, it's, it's all right it's not that bad I was upstairs on it. It was in like the big. I don't know how it looks now, but it was all right. Well, I don't know how it looks now either because of COVID. But when it was, wasting a lot of time. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you wasting. So you want to cut me off? This is why a lot of the people said. said, You You know what? I'm gonna just to my followers. Thank you. You said what you had to say. I wasn't done, and Space Ghost is just like cutting what me else off. Like, what else like, was there to say? You about the movie, and you couldn't get in, and you were so mad. So did you see you Bad Boys? See but that was my no. point, is I didn't even want to see it anymore because of that. So then you said that. You didn't want to see a movie because you couldn't get in a movie for yeah. fun? I was like, you know, I'll just wait till it drops on DVD or something. It's on <laughs> Stars. <laughs> um, speaking of which, do you do you have a login I can use for Stars? Me? Yeah. Oh, no. I got I got my dad's shit. Don't even get me started on login. I gave yeah, Facebook my gave me password, Disney Plus. and he creates his own. It's lit. <laughs> it's lit. Dad, I got her Disney yeah. Plus. It's lit. Hold on, that's what you're Yo, supposed to do. Do you want do you want ex- to be watching Stan. the same thing? He created Stan. his my own ex, profile. Like, I'm supposed to. Stan, I was stealing Disney Plus from my ex. My ex okay. cut it off on the season finale of Mad- Mandalorian. Well, she doesn't like you at all. She's Yo, she's, the she's, last yeah. episode. I saw Mulan. I saw it Mulan off. too. I saw Mulan. How was that? How was that? What the trash? Trash. Yeah, Mulan was no, it wasn't trash. trash. It was just, it was, it was okay. There was no it was... dragon. Eddie Murphy wasn't in it. It's just trash, man. <laughs> There's no I, talking I, dragon I, I, I in the whole was, movie. I thought it was mediocre. Okay. How can you do Mulan without the talking dragon? Like doing trick with the Trek. Like doing Trek without the donkey. That was another Trek. movie I saw. I now all the movies so that are coming back to me. And then I've been watching. They're doing Shrek. Movies. They do a real version of Shrek. No, oh, I wouldn't watch it if they did that. I would. Why? Why? Because they need to do don't, that. Don't mess they up my childhood. That. Don't mess up my childhood. They need to do a real version of Shrek. Well, how would they you already do it? Messed up my would childhood you do it? With would you, would you do it dark? And would the Lion you, like, King. Let's like not forget that. Yeah, like, like no, like how they did, houses. like how they did Lion King and all that shit. Yeah, Lion King was really bad. Yeah, I don't want to. No, but it was I'm, not I think I'm tired. Man, like, yeah, yeah, but it was really bad. It wasn't. That I bad. think I'm tired of. Okay, the Beyonce, Beyonce fucked it up. Of movies. Yeah, how about we went through this? About, we went through this. There's a whole. Yeah, yeah, we talked about this. How about not letting Beyonce act anymore? Yeah, honestly, but you know how I feel about Beyonce. I love her as a singer and an artist, but you know, you guys know I hate her as an actress. She Everybody hates her as an actress. Everybody hates her well, as an actress. Well, I don't hate her as an actress. She, she just can't do that. voice acting. Well, she, she did, did good in Dreamgirls. She, yeah. she can't do regular acting. She did good in No, Girls. Cadillac Records was fire, Stan. Stop. Cadillac Records, she did her thing. Cadillac Records, she, she did good, awful. Stan. Yes, yeah, she, she did. Yes, yeah, she did. And what's the movie with Idris Alba? Oh, uh... uh Oh, she did all right in that one too. She did all right. Yes, 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 yes. Hold on. And what's the what's the one with Cuba Gooding Jr.? I don't know. She was, she was the only movie she can act in. Was Fighting fucking, Temptations. Obsessed. She's, obsessed. She's, obsessed. She was good in Goldmember. 
She was good in Goldmember. That's it. Goldmember, that was her first movie. That doesn't count. <laughs> that was her first break. That was. She was good in that. And that was it. It was just down here. Right, let's go to the, since we, let's talk about black people. Jamie Foxx, Soul. <laughs> Let's talk about black people. Yeah, yeah. I hope we clip some of this because just, it took us no, 50 just, minutes just to talk in. about the just actual movie we well, want to well. talk about. This is what we're talking about before we leave. Jamie yeah. Foxx and Soul. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I loved it. I thought it was, it was so good. good. I was in a I was in a bad place when I watched it and it helped me. Oh Stan. Yeah. I, you know, um, it makes you it that movie made me also realize appreciate every day because it may of course I always say live every day like it's your last but it really makes you just appreciate not being upset about little things and just continue to move in a positive aspect and, and move forward with life because there's so much bigger things that you you know face and the little things shouldn't get to you and no matter what people say to you do whatever makes you happy that's what I got out of the movie should we should we spoil it? Should we get should we get into the plot? Absolutely. Nobody's movie review. If you haven't seen the movie, don't listen to us. Oh, <laughs> right. I love it when you do that. Can you do that one more time? The huh? Tell them what nobody movies review is. That's your introduction. Yeah. That's what they you're know. supposed no, to do. But this is the disclaimer. If you haven't seen the movie Soul, Stan is about to ruin it for you. So please <laughs> turn this shit. Not just Stan. Off. Not just Stan. So, the whole all, right, so, all three of us. So uh I it's it's been a couple weeks since I saw it, but I, um, you can fill in the gaps. I was trying to watch it again, but then the Tiger Woods shit was long, and I was into it. And I was like, all right, I'm not turning. This Maybe thing. I'll start that tonight. I'll watch that tonight. The Tiger Woods thing. Tiger Woods um, is good, man. It's it was good. like four hours, right? It's two parts. It's two parts. I think it's three hours. Okay, like an hour and a half. So, episode. so uh, Jamie Fox is Jamie Fox's character is a music teacher in Queens um, mm -hmm. and uh, his his students aren't really How'd you into know it. it was Queens? Huh? How do you know it was Queens? They, they said well, they, they say said it. it. They say it, it says it. Well, it doesn't say it, but when you when you uh, look it up and you find out the actual person and stuff, it's the it, it's was doing Queens. research. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, There's the guy actually business, did like, an interview. I, I did, watched it. See, Chanel's the one that does the research on. I don't do no research. <laughs> I don't I didn't know. Have there's, to do there's, research. There's no he actually did I, an interview on Spectrum News One to say that, hey, true. this movie is about me. I am a music teacher. This movie is about me, Joe Gardner. I thought he was dead. I mean, but, um, his son did the interview saying this is about my dad, Joe Gardner. Okay. Um, wow! But yeah, so I, I, I knew it was a real place. dude. I thought this was like a, a fake story. I knew it took place in Queens because there's there's a bunch of scenes uh, the under train the seven station. train, and then they pass they pass by Silver Cup Studios. I was like, all right, this is Queens. Um, so anyway, yeah, you're right, you're right. He's a he's a music teacher or whatever, and um, the the whole his whole vibe is that he's he's kind of like he's getting older and he's kind of missed the shot to become a professional musician, and his mom is like trying to trying to get him to take to, to, to get a real job and. Um, in the beginning, the, the school that he's teaching at offers him, uh, well, they pretty much they hire him full time. Now he's like contemplating it because uh, he, he thinks if he takes his full time job, he's given up on his dream to be a professional musician. And uh, he gets an opportunity to audition for, uh, for a band that would be, uh, you know, him, his real, his dream coming true. Debbie um, something or something like that. I forgot her name. <laughs> so he uh Quest he auditions. Love. Quest Love advises him. Oh Quest Love. Is that who that, was, was that the he was the voice? Yeah. Curly was Quest, was Quest Love. Oh, okay. I was like I was trying to figure out like a, a lot of the voices. Some of them I couldn't really I couldn't really play. Yeah, the, the, that was um, Quest Love. Okay, that makes sense because he was the drummer. Okay. And Tina yeah, Fey yeah. was twenty-two. So yeah, Tina Fey was twenty two. That I got. 22. I love her. It fits her. Um, it fits her so well. So uh, he gets, he, he, he does the audition. He gets the opportunity to perform that night and he's so happy. Uh, he's distracted and ends up uh, falling into, down a manhole and, and dying. Um, no, he, he died. He died. Well, yeah, he died. He died. Yeah. He didn't dying. So, he died. Yeah. He, well, because he comes back to life basically. Yeah. But technically, is he a zombie at that point? No, no, it's I think like it said, this is the before you go it's like in he was in a, yeah, the heavens. He was, the the yeah, he, was like, he was like in a coma. He was in a coma, yes. correct. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So uh 
But he so was supposed he meets, to die. He was supposed to this die. This is the part that fucks me up. What what messes you up? He's supposed to die, right? Yeah. Yes. So, I'm confused now. So like you're okay, in between, so he's in between he's, he's in, in between the, in between. Life he didn't go and death. pass on no, that's exactly in the he's light in between. to whatever that happens, right? He's right. in between the life and the death part. You ever saw um what yeah, but, dreams may come? Yeah, but why yeah. hold on. Is somebody is he breathing? Like that's the thing. What do you well, mean? Well, he's probably on like a ventilator why? or something. No, he was on a ventilator. Fact, was, yeah, after when he was in the hospital and they showed him in the hospital. Yeah. But how, if you're dead, if you die, mm -hmm. that means mm -hmm. you no longer breathe. He wasn't dead is what I'm trying to explain to you. I think that's, I think that's, the, that's what they're trying to, that's, that's the, that's he the, was that's in the, the midst of the, before you go to heaven and before you go into there a was, different, there's no heaven, there's no heaven. Sorry, before you go to the higher afterlife. being, let me the say after, the higher being. The afterlife, afterlife, the next phase. Whatever, the, the next phase of your life, yeah. the, the higher being. Right. I always think about that. I always feel like there's just, there's no way that this is the end of us. It's so not. anyway. You go to that light and then it, it brings you to the next phase. I think so. I think that's how I look at life too more now than ever is that. I think it's something to do I with think the blind people. We, we come to a certain, <laughs> what? What did you say? It does with the, <laughs> with the line it does yeah. I think uh, the way that part about the life and afterlife and who stuff. Are, I think can we talk about the line people? Who are those line people? What line the people? Ones that were, they're, like they're the, 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 uh, oh, the people the on the line. Oh. Like the other people, like the people that hold the shit. To, like, who, are they angels? Like, what are those people? I think. No, I think, she tells you who they are. They're the people who. Get you prepared to go up. Yeah, but what? How do they? How do you get that job? You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? How you get that job? <laughs> like, how do you? Like, who made that? Who made that job? Like, where does that job come from? I don't from? know. I don't know. I mean, someone with a creative mind probably thought that. Well, I think before I you think, go I'm up, saying, I think, like in life, like what... in life, when you die, like what is that? Is those the ghosts? Are those your ancestors? Like, who are those people? Who are those people? I don't know. Those know. are the people who probably decide. What are the what, names of those people? Now I gotta. Well, they were up. obviously the people to decide whether you are capable of still living or dying. They made the decision to see if you. That's why they gave what? each, each, each little mini minion of those little things had six circles, six little circles that they had to be filled. The last yeah. one is always your spark. Am I correct? So, yeah. with obviously filling those things. And hoping that you get that spark mm -hmm. creates a need for you that maybe you're not ready to go to the afterlife that you're still capable of being on earth mm -hmm. and figuring out your life however you depict it. That's okay. who they are. So That's what I the got. The names, the names, Moonwind. Moonwind, Jer Jerry, They're called the everybody's counselors. name was Jerry. The counselors. They're the counselors. Jerry's were the counselors. No, all of the counselors have the same name. They're Jerry all, all was the all the counselors' names. Yeah, wait for Jerry. Wait for it, Jerry. All of them were Jerry. Joe yeah. runs into them at this at the youth seminar. Yeah, because when in the, the beginning soul. she goes, "I'm Jerry," and they go, "Hey, Jerry, hey, Jerry." Right. <laughs> so they're all you, named Jerry. Did you guys <laughs> notice? There's a there's a the, right before they they assign Joe the. Uh, Joe to 22. They, so they, Rachel they... House, she is yeah. the soul center of the great beyond. So like I said, they're the Terry. people who get you prepared to either go to the great beyond, the afterlife, or right. you're back on earth. So there's a life. scene, there's a quick line with it, uh, where it, it kind of, it got stuck in my head and I couldn't, I, I, had, to, I had to find out what, 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 what that was. Okay, Terry. Terry. Wait, let Stan finish what he was saying. Wait, 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 wait. There's Jerry's, right? Yes. Right? I just figured this out. I'm sorry. The counselors are Jerry's. The Jerry's. Hey, Jerry. Hey, right. Jerry. Right? Yes, right. yes. Terry is the dude who's counting. Oh, oh okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. His yeah. name is Terry. I hated him. What a prick. He's not a prick. He was doing his job. Doing his job. Uh, 
so Let there's, it go. A, there's a there's a scene like right where they're assigning the mentors to the souls or whatever and then there's right before joe gets his gets assigned to 22 they say oh soul number one billion blah blah blah, blah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah that that is the number of of people that are estimated to be alive on earth at the moment That's it's probably, it's oh yeah they said 100 though. billion right right number 100 billion something something right. you're right i yeah. i didn't catch on to that I to, but i i figured that that's I heard the number i was like was. that's a, I, I was like i wonder what that number represents so i looked it up and i was like oh, okay it's the number um, of people estimated on this planet so so yeah uh so 22 is, is 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 uh this lost well it's not a lost soul yet but she's this she's soul not even a soul right she's, she's not even like, a soul right she's, she's just like anything. there She's, yeah, she's not there. anything. She's a what's they call them? Now I gotta look that up. Yeah, they call them the something. whole. The whole point was was she she had to find her spark and she was just fed up with everything. She's been around forever and she's been uh, with a with a lot of different famous mentors o- over time and she, she never she was never able to find her spark or any reason to to want to be alive and Joe was trying to convince her that you know this is what life is all about this is life is you know there's just so much to life and blah 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 so at some point at, at this point uh joe finds his body in the hospital and he's uh showing his body to 22 and they both fall from wherever this place is uh into uh either joe's body or the body of a cat uh, Joe unfortunately doesn't fall into his body. He falls into the cat. Tina Fey, twenty-two, falls into Joe's body, sort of like a body swap thing. And then all this time, um, Joe, as a cat, is trying to get twenty-two to get ready for his show at the club that later that yes. night. And twenty-two is really too busy experiencing life through joe's perspective yeah trying pizza for the first time um you know trying pizza for the first time and talking to joe's student who realizes that she's really good at music and um she wants to continue doing it to joe uh having this heartfelt moment with his mom Mm -hmm. um so uh while all this is happening terry realizes that there's a there's a there's a missing i guess is he a soul at that point you're not a soul yet right yeah no there was a missing soul because he even says it and joe was the missing soul gotcha okay so sorry my uh it's all good i gotta grab my charger real quick Uh, i'll finish so in the midst of it as joe is figuring out how he's gonna get 22 to do the show 22 actually like he said was experiencing life and and trying to figure out how how do you how do how do humans do this because at one point in the very beginning 22 doesn't think humans are the are the are cool she just thinks that they're stuck up and which we are (laughs) and that we feel like you know that everything is given to us and that we don't appreciate things and that's kind of what 22 thought earth would be like until she got there and realized there's a lot more to life at on earth and in the midst of it joe encounters a lot of doubt 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 from his friends including the barber who he always goes to finds out that once getting to know the barber because of 22 being in his body and asking questions besides jazz you find out that the barber had dreams and aspirations of being a veterinarian so and it also right, makes you yeah, think yeah. it also makes you think about the things of the shoulda coulda woulda with us all of us people if you if you want like you know the following of your dreams like let's say you wanted to be a singer and you, you didn't follow through you didn't put the time in or the work in and the effort and now you're like a piano teacher or something you know it's just the other alternatives and it it just makes you think about dang if I really would have stuck to this I probably could have been here and the entire movie you realize there's one thing that Joe just wanted to complete which was dear to him and that's what is 
which is being a musician, which is playing for people because that's something that he loved and fell, fell for as a kid through his father. His father was a musician. And sometimes what I got from the movie is that a lot of uh, parents force you to do things and you may not even like it. You may not, it, but because you're being forced and you're being structured a certain way, you're programmed to do the things that you were structured to do only because someone told you to do it. Yeah. You didn't have a chance to have a free mind. You didn't have a chance to, to do the things that made you as the individual happy. Not me. That's not my story, but I hear you. But if everyone <laughs> has a different story. Your yeah, story exactly. is not like Stan's. Your story isn't like mine. You have your own story. Everyone has a story to tell, which is why I love being different and why I think not doing I think that's also why I like people who do their own thing because I'm reading this book which is also I feel like the way I watch this movie I feel like I got this book which is called Originals by Adam Grant I've been reading this book and it's all it's, it's about it's about creatives and how the the most creative people in this world are the people who are not structured are the people who think outside the box so in the movie though you get the you get the feel that even though joe loved being a musician and stuff he realizes there's more to life than being a musician and 22 realized there's more to life than being up in the mid beyond the great before you go to the great beyond there's more to life than just doing the repetitive things that she used to say how did the she get how did she get her little sticker thing how did she get the spark yeah how did she get um, the sparks, man? How did she get I, her I, I, I missed that part. Like, um, I was like, oh, oh shit. Um, she got her spark. Uh, like, they just came up, and then she had it. Yeah, when they came back to the to the, yeah. the middle world. The great middle. I, That's what the they great middle. I think it was because she finally realized what, what, what she, was, she was meant to be, right? Wasn't it? Which is a person exploring her options on Earth. Yeah, but she still was to me. She still seemed confused. Like, well, imagine at, at that point, you, she because she, like, she I don't she know wasn't, how I got my spark. Like, how did I get it? Like, she, I was just as confused as her. I was like, how the fuck? Right. I think her spark honestly think, was think, just her. I'm sorry. I think her yeah, spark was just her curiosity. Like, right? No, that, I, it, it, before no. Well, before that, she had no nothing. You know, she had no interest in 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 being on Earth at all. Right, now that's what I said. She has you're right, right. Yeah, she had it. Yeah, now at least she what, has like what gave that to like I gotta watch. I it think again. what gave her that Joe, spark right? was after that leaf had fell, she realized and witnessed that even it's the little things you should be appreciative it happened of. Happened at the leaf, like when no, leaf no, what I'm saying she is got it at the leaf, but I don't know what did it. I'm telling you right now, what? I think her spark was her realizing. The, you got to be appreciative of the little things. She had a crust of pizza from her first time having pizza. She had a thread of wool from his mother sewing his suit. She had a lollipop from experiencing conversations with the barber and realizing that the barber had other, mm. uh, other things that Dreamy. he wanted to do in his yeah. life. And her telling the barber that there were other alternatives and options and that there's still more to life if you want to, you could mm. still do it. I think her she, purpose, she's a therapist. I think her purpose on life <laughs> was to show people was to that help people. She became a therapist. People. I think her purpose on life was to help not only she people, became a therapist. but to tell people <laughs> to appreciate the little things. She had mm -hmm. all those gadgets in her pocket, but she that's because she appreciates it appreciate the little things and i think that's what i got from out of the movie is that us as individuals and human so beings we get mad we get mad at the little things my spark i have a lot of things i oh i'm God. i want you can't I have a lot you have one spark i'm different that's what makes me spark <laughs> i'm not different you're muted snap you know i'm i my spark is i know my spark is I'm very I'm I'm a very influential influential person sometimes when it comes to giving great advice to my friends. I think I'm here to be a good energy for people. That's how I look at it. That's my spark. 
Because you know one thing I can honestly say? Sometimes, truth be told, sometimes I don't want to be going to functions and stuff. But I'm very appreciative that people take the time to invite me because they always tell me you have such great energy. And I love that. So the fact that if I can project the good energy to people, that's what matters to me. Space Ghost, I always think your spark is just you being you, but a creative you. I always tell you that. You always think outside the box. You don't never, you don't never, you don't never follow the rules. What you say? Who the fuck knows what their spark is at this point? I don't know. Everyone knows what their spark is. I think as you get older, your spark dies. No. I think so. Yeah, my spark. I don't think so. You gotta watch the movie Soul and you get. If you're a good person, that's your spark right there. Is being a good person. Who doesn't think they're a good person? Everybody's a good person. Not a spark, Chanel. That is a spark. You'd be surprised being. I'm gonna tell you, you'd be surprised how much of being a good person the people really does help people. Yeah, but that's not a that's not, that's not a, really a spark. spark. A spark. Well, what is, would you call it, that? Anyway, it has, has to do with what, you. what is yeah. What, what is people. what is? How does that separate you from anybody else? Why do you? Why do? You, why does a spark have to do with doing anything? Why can't it just be? But your what, spark no, be not even that. But what is, 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 is how does that? You, how like, does that separate? What makes you enjoy life? That's what the spark is. It's, you don't take things not like, serious. You appreciate the little things in life. That's no, no, the no, spark. No, no. The spark is to you. It has nothing to do with outside people. It's mm-hmm. like, damn, I love music. Shit, I want to be a fucking musician. That's your spark. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like Stan loves comedy. Nigga wants to be on stage all the time. That's his spark. But if you realize Joe's spark was music and realize it's not just about music. No, which makes no. It- life is not no, just no. about your spark. But the spark is your life. Like, Okay, Mr. Drake. <laughs> I wasn't hiding you from the world. I was hiding the world from you. No. <laughs> That's what I that's how I I seen it. I no, it. it makes sense because it's like no, it's I get like, it. I get it. Like my spark is to be a journalist and to be an like you girl. see the, the girl she picked up the the tuba, the, the girl with the tuba. Yeah. And she was like, she went into the little the the the, the vibe. What's that vibe mode that they was going into? Oh, what the vibe it? when you close your eyes and right. you they make... called it the zone or the focus. The zone, whatever. yeah. They called it some shit in there. And he says that. everyone has a zone. Everyone yeah, has that's it. when you're like. In your spark, like you're, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's when you're in it. You're That's right, like friend. you know, right. and a lot of people got that. Like some people got it for different reasons. I think, I think the spark can go many different ways. It from from many different point of views. Like we all obviously have different point of views of what our spark is. Um, but I do honestly say, I guess it's your passion for something. Yes. Maybe right. the, the spark passion, is the passion like, for why, something. Why, what makes you keep going? Because your passion yeah. technically is what keeps you going. Like you get up and you're like, I don't want to really do this, but but you, know, you like, do it anyway. It'll help me get right. to this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I totally get you. I think I uh I really enjoyed that movie though, because and a lot of people I think it made I would hope it made a difference in how people walk outside their house every day and realize that not everything, don't take every, don't take life so seriously. Just enjoy it. Enjoy every second, every minute, because it can be taken oh, away from you. Because of COVID. <clears throat> no, but it also, once again, but that still doesn't take away the fact that you shouldn't walk outside your house man, t- living every world. day like COVID, it's your last. Man, COVID. COVID. <laughs> yes, what about COVID? Fuck it everywhere. <laughs> Just because you have COVID doesn't mean that you can't enjoy life. Just because you have COVID doesn't mean you can't enjoy life, though. I'm not tired of wearing masks. That's that's exactly that's exactly what I am tired of wearing masks. I'm sick of this shit. But, but sick of this Zoom shit. But on the flip side, it makes you appreciate outside more. Am I lying? No, because I gotta wear masks. Because once this until is I, over, until I ha- can stop wearing a mask outside and no, stop wearing a mask around No, you're crazy. Because once this is people, over, once this is over, everyone's going to be outside. Everyone. Yeah, That's but everyone's still going to be wearing masks. 
Man. They're still gonna, wear gonna still wear masks. It's gonna be masks for a couple years, man. I highly doubt Shit people are still moved, gonna be wearing man. masks. They're people gonna, don't even wear masks. Wear right mask. now. You have to wear a mask. Everybody well, our new president is going to mandate masks. Okay. So yes, mandate vaccines. <laughs> Fuck the mask and mandate vaccines. I, I think the mask. Like, you need to get shot with fucking steroids. I don't think. I don't think as many people are gonna get the vaccine as you think. Oh, oh yeah. Can Why we talk about things, how man? good? Why are they Fox running is? out of vaccines, Stan? Huh? We're not Why doing this. Why are they this. running out of vaccines? We're not doing because this. They're going bad. They're going bad. <laughs> We're not <laughs> doing bad. this. They're using them. No, they're not. We're not they're doing this, guys. We're not going to change our channel into all right, all right. the the vaccine right. channel. Can we We're talk about the that. lost souls? Yes. Can we talk about how good Jamie Foxx played music? Well, and that was actually him that. playing the music. Yeah, he's been doing that. Oh yeah, he's always been. No, doing but that. I'm saying his first we, album. I didn't. Say, what? I, I bump his album all the time. Are you kidding me? What are you talking about? Album. Before he even had an album, he had a show. He, Let me tell you something. Jamie, and Jamie. Before Fox, he had a show, he was on a Living Color. Ja- Jamie Foxx is very as talented. close to uh, a Renaissance man as we're ever gonna get. He's the most. He's one of the most talented it's people. True. There's a lot of guys no, it's true. like that. There's a lot Let of him right. speak. But in terms of in terms of people that that we're that we're aware of, you know, because he it's, did it's, Ray. So, who else? Who for, else? For, Jamie Foxx is amazing. Amazing. Absolutely. I think amazing. I think Donald. Absolutely. I think Donald Glover. I think Donald, Donald Glover. Glover is just amazing. Amazing. I think he's just as talented. Yes. Because he's one of those people that whatever he's 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 so good at what he does that he he he'll like do it really well and then never do it again. Justin Timberlake is good too. I would, yeah, I'll put Justin Timberlake. You know what? Reason, You're right. Because when I, he played I, a couple I, movies, I was like impressed by saying, my boo. I would, saying. I'm curious to see Justin Timberlake do stand up. I'm, I would, I, I, I think but I'd he, like to but see. He him. has been on SNL. Right. Yeah. So I think, I, I think oh. he's, it's my, I think he has, he has the ability the to, be, to be, I think he has the ability to be funny. He's done comedy whether, movies with the, whether, the, whether, whether, but, with Mila Kunis. Oh, uh, just uh, friends, just something like that. But that was friends good with too. benefits. No, no, friends with benefits. Yes, friends with benefits. Yeah. But, but I, I would, I, I would like to see. I'd like to see him do stand up. I'll be honest with you. I really like to see him do stand up. I think he would be Cause fun because I, I see watching him on SNL. He's funny, and that's because he got Adam. Those, Sandler, are, but, those, are, those are those are two different. Adam Sandler. Things, I will say. Adam Sandler is Adam, the. Yeah. Adam Sandler is not even a too. conversation. He could be, yeah. We're just talking about. Can we go back to Jamie Foxx? That's where we're talking, talking about. We're talking about triple threat people, man. Yeah, right. triple threat people who are musicians. Pe- who's in the and EGOT actor. list? Anybody who's on the EGOT list? Fifty Cent. No, Fifty Cent does not have a fucking EGOT. <laughs> nah. Uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his face? Let's, Let's go. What's the what's the what's the guy with the Mookie voice? Goldberg got an EGOT. What guy with the what? voice? The singer. What's the guy with the funny? He's married to Chrissy Teigen. Quincy. Oh, John, John Legend. Legend. John Legend is an EGOT. Ah, uh, no, no, yes no. Yeah, he does. He does. No, his name is on. Yeah, he's an EGOT. He does. He does. Scott. I Lee. just um, want to say, when we're speaking about this movie, Jamie no Foxx did one hell of a job. No Brooks. No Brooks. Can all right? Can I? Can I just? Wasn't that quick? Jamie Foxx? But Jamie Foxx don't got an EGOT. Was that Jamie no, Foxx's first like he, cartoon he kind never of got movie? A, I don't film? think he got a Grammy. Hello. I think I think, I think you're right. Was that Whoopi Jamie Foxx's first got cartoon got. movie? You know that? Whoopi Goldberg was a uh, uh, back well, she had, in the day. Well, she, she had it going she got a, on. She got a Grammy she for, an, for best she, uh, comedy recorder. What she got an Emmy for? She got an Emmy Emmy for the show. Governor's Award. The View. Comic Relief Benefits. Oh, Special. interesting. She got an Emmy for that. Yeah. Wow. I learned something and a new Tony every day. For what? She got a Tony for thoroughly, thoroughly modern Millie, the musical. Huh. Okay. Then she got an Academy Award for Ghost. Yeah, I remember that. Oh my God, Ghost! And then she got oh, an Emmy for the oh Ghost! For, uh, the Extraordinary Life of Haiti. Ghost what, was so good. What, um, what are you guys' favorite scenes in the movie? Oh, oh uh. Scenes? I just like I have one all, favorite. I like scene. all the in between shit. Like I like that. In the line I like one him. favorite scene. I have one favorite scene for sure. I like when he killed. I like when he killed the dude by accident. I like Which the dude? mother. I like the mother. Like scene. the random dude that the, the the raccoon dude killed by accident. 
<laughs> you yeah, remember yeah, that yeah. brought him back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What scene did you like, Stan? My favorite scene is the one where uh, uh, Tina Fey is talking about, what 22 is talking about, like all the people she's fucked with over the years, including the, the Knicks. Oh, yeah. Like I thought, I thought that was, it was so quick, but it was so funny. It was funny. Barbara you know, Streisand said, got an EGOT. Wow. What's she my favorite for? scene was she um got an Emmy for my favorite scene. I I I think for Real me models, was the, the mother for film and the and I like I like the mother and him kind of scene because I felt like I felt that I felt like you know a lot of families Jones, sometimes man. doubt you and don't think that you can do things and they always it it be your closest people who feel like they they doubt you. Mm-hmm. And I, and it took a lot of courage for him to finally speak up to his mother because all his life his mother has been putting him down. So I felt that one. I felt that part. Okay. What's your favorite part, Space Ghost? I told you when a guy died by accident. Oh, when a guy. <laughs> <laughs> it was fire. I was like, oh, shit. oh yeah, he was yeah, because he was he cracking jokes. That dude for life. He was cracking jokes and talking smack. But that's why God don't like ugly. And that's why you got to watch what you got to say. Because your own karma will bite you in the behind. Well, I think I think what, what I like a lot about this movie is that it didn't really... It didn't really push anything towards... It didn't say that it was God or, or whatever. It didn't, it didn't go that way. It was, it, was, it was more spiritual than religious, which I thought was pretty good. I, I agree. Jamie I agree with that. A, Jamie Foxx needs a Tony and an Emmy award. Okay. He, I'm sure he'll work on he that. He got. He did Ray. He went he blind. A Emmy? For, a he Tony went blind Emmy. for a month just to feel what it was like to be blind. Viola Who Davis does that. Viola Davis needs a Grammy. And that's it. Viola Do- Davis needs everything because she is an she amazing she actress. She has to get a Grammy though. I don't know if she can sing. She can probably get it though. She can, she it. can sing. She did all Justin that. Justin Timberlake movie. needs an Oscar and a Tony. I can see him wow. getting both of those. I can see him getting both of those. Um, Jamie Foxx is playing Mike Tyson soon, isn't he? Yeah. Hopefully. But didn't Will Smith do that already? Cynthia Nixon needs he an played, Oscar. He played Muhammad Ali. Oh, yeah. He did Muhammad Cynthia Ali. Cynthia Nixon just needs an Oscar. Cynthia Nixon from Texas City. That. Yo, Jamie yeah. Foxx as Mike Tyson makes sense. All his life and since in Living Color Elton and John Jamie Foxx an show, he, it makes sense for him to do Mike Tyson. It only makes sense for him to do Mike Tyson. No, they, they already they already started working on it. Yeah, yeah I don't, I don't, I couldn't picture Yo, anybody else Mike Tyson. Tony. But him. That's all Scorsese needs. What? I don't know if Scorsese gets one. All Scorsese needs is a Tony, and he guys that he got. I don't know if he gets. I don't know if he's a Broadway guy. You don't think so? I don't, he could, I don't, do, I don't, he I don't. could do the Godfather on Ice or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh Godfather my God! Ice. Denzel needs a Grammy and an Emmy. Denzel doesn't have a Grammy. Why would he have a Grammy? He doesn't sing. Well, you yeah, don't have to sing. Actually, he's got a new movie coming out. You don't have to sing. Shit. He's got a new movie coming out with uh, Hugh Jackson. Donnie just Malik. needs an Oscar. Wait, what? Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman? Who, who Jackman just needs an Oscar. That's it. He's he got get, everything. He can get that easy. He can, I thought he. You know what? He probably tried to get it. What's that one movie we with the singing, with the with the Les Mis. Movie, huh? Les Mis Rub. I don't know what that what that was. Oh, was like the part of the play. Thing. Yeah, he wasn't Les Oh, oh uh, the Greatest Showman. The Greatest Showman. He should have got it. He should have got it. Oh, he can I sing. remember that. He should have got one for that. He should have got one for that. But that that's because that's a movie. You can't get a Tony for a new, for a movie. It yeah, but they, the stage. soundtrack, the soundtrack could have got a gram. If, yeah, the soundtrack got a gram. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, what does he need? To get a Tony, no, he needs an Oscar. He needs an Oscar. He needs an Oscar. Oh, okay, he can get that. He can get that easy. He could get an Oscar. I think Hugh Jack. He he's t- banking on the Wolverine movies, but he he could get an Oscar. He, he, he stopped doing those, right? Yeah, thank God. Al Pacino needs he can a get Grammy. One. Yeah, he's Where are you finding all this information? It's, uh, it's 29 stars who are almost there. For oh, that's what you Googled? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, this is a this is the article. Who are almost there? Kate Winsdale needs a Tony. Who? 
She hasn't been acting much Ryan in a Cranston while. Ryan needs a Grammy and an You said Kate Winslet? Titanic Kate Winslet? Taylor Swift needs an Oscar and a Tony. Oh, next. Sam Smith needs an Emmy and a Tony. <laughs> Sam Smith can get a Tony. Lin-Manuel, Ma- Ma- Lin-Manuel Miranda needs an Oscar. Salma Hayek That's all he needs, needs an Oscar. Salma Hayek. For what? Donald Glover needs an Oscar and a Tony. Donald Glover deserves that. He'll probably get that. So Billy Porter just needs an Oscar. Who else do I think is good as an act, as a singer, an actor, or an actress? A lot of people could get an EGOT. Like I think, I think uh, what's his name is gonna get it? The Wolverine's gonna get it though. Hugh Jackman. You said all he needs is an Oscar. Yeah, that's all he needs. I think he'll get that. It's possible. What was that? What you playing? That's why we going to the chiropractor. What you playing? Not the chiropractor. That's why we're gonna go to the massage therapist. I, I thought you were talking about the talking in the background for Stan's thing. Who? <laughs> I'm talking about you. That you, just that's literally your did this. Right what? My background? I'm talking about Stan doing this. I mean, uh, Space Ghost, you was doing this. I'm cracking my back. What's wrong with you? All right. So what's the next movie? You guys got another movie? Tenet. No, no, no. We're not doing Tenet. No, no. <laughs> All right. Wait, so then what do you want to watch? Wait, nobody talk. Out. Nobody talk. What did that sound? That's probably my uncle you probably hear laughing. Uh, <laughs> there's a new movie. Oh, yeah. It's, later this it's his birthday, actually. You guys want to review the Jonathan, Jonathan, what's that Mackie movie that's on Netflix right now? The what? Hmm. The what movie? What's that nigga name? I hate that dude. Ever since what movie Falcon. are we talking about? Falcon. Who's Falcon? Who, who, John, how you say Anthony his name? Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie. I'm he's gonna a, look this up right now. Got a movie on Netflix right now. Anthony <laughs> Mackie. Anthony oh, Mackie. Oh, before I can even type it, he just came. Oh, I like him. I hate. I met him once. I fucking hate that. You dude. met him before, of course, Dan. I know you probably met. You met a lot of people in your I life. Hate that dude. He said he got smacked by Will Smith. I believe I mean, that. I, I, and it, the, but you know what? I, I feel like I believe that, but I feel like it wasn't like in a mean way. It probably was like, "Hey, out of boy, out of boy," like kind of thing. I, I don't think him, it was I like. In jail. Do you want to review this movie on Netflix? What's it called? What's the movie? It's a new movie. Look it up, Chanel. You had it right there. I look. I'm looking at it. Oh, today's Wikipedia's birthday. <laughs> Twenty years in the game. Uh, he did Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Oh, that's what I saw. Oh, I saw that too. I did see that. Ma Rainey's Black Isn't Bottom. It? I did see that. Outside the Wire is called. Outside okay. the Wire. I uh, oh, I, I saw the. I don't I know. The, Outside the Wire. I saw the title, and then my first thought was Anthony Mackie wasn't on the wire, and I was like, I don't know. Yeah, oh, what Anthony, is this supposed Anthony to be like Mackie a sequel and, uh, to The Wire? And what's the name from Snowfall? It's supposed yeah. to be like a sequel to The Wire or something? No, no, no. Shut no. up, Chanel. No. What? What? You said out, outside on the, the wire. What? I saw the title card, and I thought it's with I was Franklin like, it was like Saint and Falcon. oh, that guy's good. Yeah, he's amazing. So he's he's amazing. British. Yeah, he's British. All right, Anthony so Mackie and Franklin Saint. I don't know his na- real name. I forgot. I don't know. Outside the Wire. Really it's on Netflix. You want to watch that? Yeah, sure. It just came out. Yeah, it just came out. Yeah, okay. So I didn't it's watch like, it. I'm about to watch it right now. You know what it looks like? It looks like um Star Wars kind of thing. It's not no Star Wars kind of thing. What? It's, no, I'm seeing it's like something Android, with robots. It's something with robots, robots and people. I, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's okay. robotic and. It's an Android War Zone and stuff Star like that. Wars. Star Wars. What the well, fuck? I'm not comparing. How many I'm not, robot movies? It's more than just. Star I'm not Wars. saying it's like I'm. I'm looking at the picture here and I see this, and I'm thinking that it looks like a Star Wars feel. If you look at the cover mm-hmm. of it, it looks like a Star Wars. Hold they on, have. Let me, a, let me look at this. Let me see what. They have an Android me. officer. I'm not watching trailers. Like, I just saw the thing. He looks on like Netflix. a RoboCop. I'm scared. I said I'm gonna watch this later. 
We know I didn't you don't watch, watch the trailer. trailer. I don't watch the trailer. You know, I we just know you don't watch trailers. Let your followers know you don't watch trailers. He doesn't watch trailers, everyone. He doesn't. He doesn't watch trailers. Hold on, hold on, chill out, chill out. It what about this like picture? It looks <laughs> nothing like Star Wars. That's what I'm trying to say. It looks nothing like Star Wars at all. Well, I'm not first like off, at all. Like, off, it's not even like in, a comparison. In nine, in nine Star Wars movies. Hold on. Uh, this is the picture nine, I'm looking at. That looks nothing like nothing Star like Wars. I was just looking at this little middle man. What? Right How here. does that look like Star Wars? <laughs> no, I didn't there say... Been, there, hold Pull on, up a picture on. of Star hold Wars on. now. Hold on. I'm not there saying... Been, there I wasn't nine saying... Stars. Show your shirt. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I wasn't saying... Been, listen. Listen to me for a second. There have been nine Star Wars movies. There have been at least two or three... Uh, series, four series Star Wars series. There have been animated series. In the history of Star Wars, there might be... There's no guns like that. There might be four black people. They said okay, first of all, come back. I was joking when saying no, no, Star Wars. No, 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 no. I was. I was joking. I said <laughs> it looks like a Star serious. Wars deal with the serious, with man. the robotic <laughs> officers. Oh, you know what? With the stormtroopers? Not <laughs> Starship like Troopers. Nothing like a stormtrooper. No, no, no. Starship Troopers. That's what I meant to say. Starship Troopers. It don't even look like that. Like that don't even that. It don't even look like that. Yes, it does, because it has like the office of the robotic officers. I'm, I'm there are no robotic officers. No robotic 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 robotic. Yeah. Go go rewatch Starship Troopers. I watched Troopers. every Starship Troopers one day. Quarantine. During quarantine. I watched Starship Troopers. Chanel. During quarantine. And in the field. Chanel. In the Janelle, battlefield. Stop. Shut up. Shut there's up. those little robotic officers. Chanel, shut up. Listen. You during shut up. quarantine. During quarantine. When we couldn't leave, like the mist, like the shit. Quarantine. Like you can't leave. I was furloughed from my job. Everything crazy. I watched every. This protein shake is amazing. I watched every Starship Troopers. Why would you one, torture yourself one like that? Through fucking four. Only the first one is the best one. Yeah, but I needed to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you this right now. Those movies are bad. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. This right. <laughs> Starship Troopers three is so bad. I never cared to watch it. Oh, they it got did, what's the name? What's the name? It got Boris Kujo in it. I watched it's one so and two terrible. Was done. Oh, <laughs> isn't that the one where they brought back Casper Van Dien? Huh? Isn't that the one where they brought back the guy from the main guy from the first one? Yes, yes. Yeah, they brought him back. They brought Rico back with Rico. Boris Kujo. Yo, it's so bad. It's so, so bad. terrible. The CGI is disgusting. I only needed to watch one and two, and that was and it. I paid three dollars to watch this. You that tortured. Shit. You, it should only been a dollar. It should only been a dollar. I paid three dollars to watch that shit. It should only been a dollar, huh? It should only been a dollar. I was uh, I, 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 I was in the mood to watch Paid in Full the other day, but I couldn't find oh, nice. it anywhere. That's a good it's on one. Netflix. Is it on Netflix? No, it's not. No. It was. It it's was at one point. It was. It was. It was. But not anymore. Uh, so uh, I, I found I just watched clips of it on YouTube and I was like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> you never saw Paid in Full? <laughs> no, I saw it, but like I was like I hadn't seen it in a while. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, honestly, you no, got you know what I watched? You know, I watched New Jersey Drive. Oh, I've seen that. I think I've seen that. Sound familiar? New Jersey Drive is fire. It's fire. Oh, you know what I watched? It's a um, horror Mother movie though. Mother it's Liz literally Brooklyn. a horror movie though. It's literally a horror movie. <laughs> Did you guys see Motherless Brooklyn? Yes, I did. It was boring. Did you like it? No, slow. Oh, <laughs> New Jersey Drive. I'm like, so why did that slow. sound so familiar? It's so slow. Did you ever watch Apparently Cornbread, Earl and Me? Yep. I'm not watching that, man. That's yes, you should old, watch Cornbread, movie. Earl and Me. Not, yeah, I don't think you need to watch it. I'm I think you're good. That. I'm not watching that. You should watch right, Pimp. You, you should watch Pimpin'. If you could watch Pimpin', then you can watch Cornbread Early Me. What's Pimpin' is the, the what's the pimp movie? Hold on, I'm gonna let me pull it up. Go pull watch it, Cornbread. I'm about to get out of it, here. It's first of all, it's Lawrence Fishburne's first ever movie. Okay. Oh, flying fuck. <laughs> That's like years ago. Huh? What's he been doing? He hasn't done, he hasn't done anything in a while. What? Oh, Lawrence? Yeah. 
Um, let's see. What has he been doing? What's the name of that fucking movie? It was like eighty nine. New movies. Well, he's no, he's been on the TV show, um, Blackish. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been kinda, doing that. Kinda, kinda so they're doing that. a John Wick chapter four. Right, right, yeah. I know he's in. He's doing in a those. John Wick chapter four, and we know he was in that. They're doing John Wick again. Yeah, yeah. chapter four. It's supposed to it, before before COVID. It was supposed to come out the same day as Matrix Four. Matrix he's Four is doing... on HBO though. Mm-hmm. They're going straight to HBO with that one. He's supposed to be doing a movie called Free Ray Sean. Mm. It sounds like that sounds familiar. Sounds like yeah, it's the thriller drama starring St- Stephen James, and um. Oh, speaking of stuff, I know it's a series, but whatever. Have you guys watched Lovecraft Country yet? Yeah, I did. Yes. I love, I love Lovecraft. So good. That's so good. good. So good. All right. I'm done. We're done with this. <laughs> it's called Free Ray Sean. Quibi is a short form mobile streaming device. <laughs> Quibi died. Quibi died so long ago. <laughs> that's where you'll be able um, to watch that free ray sean yeah well if, if quibi is yeah there's there's nothing yeah quibi's dead um <laughs> real, real they quick say it uh, compares we to a we, modern dog day afternoon film okay I, enough with that okay you want to watch a, a modern dog day afternoon watch inside man that's a modern dog day afternoon. i like inside man yeah whatever right don't did you see inside man saying, too I wouldn't yeah. want to do that to don't, myself. Don't, I don't do it. Don't. Do I would it. only. Don't I, do it, Stan. There's don't. only one person that I needed to see. You know, I watch all the bullshit. Like I watch. You do watch all the bullshit. <laughs> but Inside Man Two is terrible. <laughs> Was it the same cast? I don't. No. 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 Um. We didn't. Did we? Did we rate the movie? Inside did we, Man did, Two. Oh, oh sorry, we man. haven't. Re- we it's been so long. We haven't done a lot of things. Our followers is gonna kick our ass for us going nobody over the time. Cares. That's why it's called nobody cares. It? Nobody's movie review. Inside Man Two is Den of Thieves. That's really. What Are we is. doing popcorns? Are we doing Dippin' Dots? <laughs> oh, how many? Oh, oh, yeah. How many Dippin' Dots <laughs> do you give Soul? Let's do that. Sorry, I forgot about that. Five Dippin' Dots for me. Is it, is it out of five? Yeah, is, is we do one to five, I think. Five uh, different dots. Five different dots. I really enjoyed it. Five different. I give it four and a half different dots. You gotta be the one, yo. This is why I don't like you. <laughs> this is why I don't like you. What, this what, is why what, I don't like you. Because you're lying. You know you want to give that a five. Oh, no, I don't. Yes, you I do. Want, want, it's, it's something about it that I just, no. You always find. Something I don't know. I don't right? know. I can't get no, the file. No, it's nothing wrong with the film. <laughs> There's nothing the wrong with the film. Stop. Cut it Four out. And a half dip and dot. We're done. Four and a half. We're done. We're done. There's nothing else you can. You gotta be the biggest hater I ever know. Actually, we don't even do the numbers. We do. We do the mass. Like how much. What do you mean? So we it's do a bucket dip of dipping dots. It's a bucket. All right, yes. Yeah, right, yeah, we don't right. do like numbers. We did the. We, we did dipping dots. Tried, we tried the numbers. Yeah, but it wasn't. It has yeah, to be like dots, how much? Yeah. How much? Like in a bowl? Is it a swimming pool or dipping dots? Like. Uh yeah, I would give it. Okay, give so it, here uh, on out on the next show. Two no, no, we'll be doing episodes. how many? How much dipping dots does it get? I like the dipping dots. The dipping yeah, dots. How is much? How much? Five, five. No, no, no. Like. Like no, what container no. do you put them what, in? How, what's the amount of dipping dots you're giving this? The one? large one for me. What's a, a large, large? Just a, a large, large cup? Large, like a bucket? Like a like a, a popcorn bucket. bucket of That's too much. That's too much see that's too much detail. Let's just stick with dipping dots. No, we are, yeah. Not detail. We are sticking with or the popcorn, dots. the small we're the talking medium, about the large. We're talking we about dipping dots. We can't do popcorn because uh, that's we're a, not that's doing popcorn. Different. Somebody else does that. Doing the dipping dots. How I like much, dots. Well, what are you putting in? Are you putting in a, <laughs> what kind of bucket? Like a bucket hat? Are you putting in <laughs> a bucket? A like a, a, a regular, a regular small bucket? Like a small no, bowl. No, a large one. How a large bowl of the bucket. Dot. There it is. 
a, a, how many gallons? See, now you're doing too much. <laughs> how many gallons is the bucket? I'm gonna put a trash. Soul is a trash can of dipping dots. That's a big. That's a lot of dipping dots. That's a lot of fucking dipping dots. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give so, it. Uh, it's not. Tenant is a swimming pool to me. Of dipping. I would dots. Do it, you have I would regular do it. size dipping dots. You have. I, I don't give a fuck about the size. Tenant is a is a swimming pool full of dipping dots. Soul is more of a trash can full, like a big. I would I would give Tenet a trash can of different dots, to be honest with you. I'm gonna give Soul a swimming pool because Space Ghost gotta be the hater. Give me you swimming in a, with Soul? Soul is swimming in back to that. Yeah, only when you get kids, you're gonna show it to them. Like I no, I going actually back to that it, like that. I watched it three I times it. already. Oh wow. I thought it was funny and I thought it was cute. All right. Okay. Yeah, good. All right. I watched it once. I need Miss Nah here. I need another woman <laughs> opinion on shit, man. Wow. Nah, okay. Wow. Okay. We have to have the. Comp- I won't the, be the, on the, the next two show. Two women, then. two men point of views. We need that. Nah. You, you can't be the end all be all all the time, you know. Why can't I? Because you now speak for all the women. Uh I don't need to speak for all the women. I speak for myself. All right. That's your spark. No, my spark is me being my own person. All right. Are we done? Can I go watch this Anthony Mackie movie? Yeah. You know what? I've been done with you. All right, guys. (laughs) All right. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. We'll be back. Will you want to do this next week? Next, next. I week? miss you guys. No, we can't do it next week. Why? You are, you can't watch the movie by next week. Oh wait, you know no what? Movie. We can. You know what? I keep thinking the weekend. My bad. What are you doing right now after this? I'm gonna go eat because I didn't eat all day. All right, so watch the movie. And eat. No, I'm gonna watch it. All right, cool. Danny wait, Martin. it's on. It's on. Tenet is on. Wait, what You're movie are we watching doing? Tenet. We're You're doing the, the, the movie you thought was Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Off the wire. Outside, out, yeah, out the wire. Outside, 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 the, outside the, the wire. wire. Outside the wire. You gotta tell uh, Nah because Nah was supposed to be here and she's. Followers, I miss you. I'm, I hope you guys tune back in. Hopefully, we get our podcast back. A lot of people did ask us. Ask me personally. I don't know about you guys. Hey, what happened to y'all podcast? I was really listening to y'all stuff. I think a lot of people, if I'm going to post, let me, we should take a screenshot. Take a picture of us. It is going on. Come on, relax. We out of here. Bye. (laughs) That's not how we end off. Bye, everybody. You could find, you could find us on Instagram because this is this has been a minute so obviously Space Ghost has forgotten how to send off and and let everybody around their way also happy new year everybody but you can find us on Instagram Stan is that funny man Stan Stan is still doing comedy you guys still doing stand-ups here and there so you guys can tune in and and Stan I miss you that's one thank you and then you can find me at it's Nels I T S N E L L Z one underscore. We oh, back we never do and then you can find the hater of the haters, Space Ghost, at S P number eight Ghost G H O S T, because he's the hater. He should just be in space, and he should just go ghost. <laughs> I'm sorry. Quite the, quite the send off. <laughs> anyway, Space Ghost, any last words? Goodbye. Oh. <laughs>